This is a 68-year-old female with a history of fever and progressive back pain. There is loss of disc height at the L3-4 disc level with irregularity and erosions of the associated end plates. There is extensive fluid and stranding which extends anterior to the L3-4 disc as well as more posteriorly into the ventral epidural space from the L2-3 disc level to the L4-5 disc level. The abscess and associated phlegmon results in partial effacement of the thecal sac with contact and posterior displacement of the cauda equina. The post-contrast fat-saturated T1-weighted images demonstrate profound enhancement of the L3-4 vertebral bodies as well as an abscess in the ventral epidural space. This is a case of discitis osteomyelitis with an associated epidural abscess. Discitis osteomyelitis most commonly affects the lumbar region with the next most common site being the thoracic spine. Staphylococcus aureus is the most common pathogen. The best diagnostic clue includes ill-defined hypo-intense vertebral marrow signal on the T1 weighted images with loss of end plate definition on both sides of the disc. 